Hey, good morning. I'm hanging out with six-year-old Bella, who is painting, elaborating on her collection that is in five galleries across Southern California, how her collection is raising money for amazing organizations in San Diego that are close to her heart. We're going to highlight Bella's heart collection and talk to this vivacious six-year-old when we come back. Wake up, San Diego. Hey, let's get out to Renee Cohn this morning and find out what uh, she is up to out there this morning. Uh, I know you've got a lovely, talented little artist with you there. Yes, I absolutely do. Bella Thorne. And if, like me, you are not able to draw a straight stick figure, you will be impressed. This little adorable cutie pie started painting and tapping into her creative expression at about 16 months, not even a year and a half. And Bella, tell me now about your Bella Hart art collection. Well, I have been painting since I was two, mm -hmm. and then I just but they sold and I wanted and I still like to do it so we still did it. That is awesome. Now your mom is the owner of EC Gallery and your artwork is shown not just here at the one downtown but in five other galleries and mom and grandma I want you both to come out out here because this story is so cool. Mom you're the owner of the gallery have been involved in art your whole entire life yeah. And Grandma, Gloria, you noticed that your granddaughter had an affinity for art just like your daughter did. You gave her a paintbrush at 16 months, and what happened? Well, she just, you know, like kids do, they put their hands in, they use the brush, and, you know, but there's there's such a freedom because they, they have no inhibition, so they use color, um, they use just all kinds of energy that are in, her paintings and uh, you know as she got older her colors got even better and uh, you know she just loves to do it. Of course we're getting close to Valentine's Day and Ruth Ann you had a need for something to put in the windows on your gallery back when Bella was about two. Yes so you know what do they say necessity is the mother of invention right so I went to my mom who's super creative and I said hey I forgot to order a window display so long story short that's how these Bella Hearts came to be. My mom said, let's make them. She had Isabella start with these backgrounds. We created these hearts and just hung them in the window just with the idea that they were display. And literally the first day, people were walking by and they're like, I wanna buy that, I wanna buy that. So we started creating them and it's just become something that's been in really high demand. She has a collector that um, is in Dubai that has bought the big ones every year. So um, yeah, it's just really exciting to see. It really is. And Bella, not only are you creative, sweetheart, but you also are about giving back to the community. You have picked two organizations that are close to your heart that get part of the money from your collection. Tell us about those. Well, we give money to the orphanage. Mm -hmm. That's Angel Foster Care. And we help the animals that are sick. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal has got to be a lion. Oh, wow, why a lion? Because they live in Africa, and I love cats. That's a very good reason. All right, Bella Hart Collection. This is Bella, and her art is for sale. And not only is it gorgeous and adorable and done by a six-year-old, but when you buy some of her collection, 10% of the proceeds go to uh, Angel's Foster care as well as the uh, Humane Society. So coming up, you're going to teach me how to do some of this art here? Mm, yes. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to get lessons from a six-year-old and uh, as you're going to see, I really need it. We're live at the EC Gallery downtown with six-year-old Bella. Her art is in five galleries in Southern California. Mark and Heather, can you say that? You know, uh, can I say that? Yes, I can say her art is in five <laughs> galleries in Southern California. Um, <laughs> But <laughs> Renee, no, it's your I, art in five galleries. I Mr. don't. I don't want to be tacky here, but I, I am sincerely interested. I, I really like okay. these. I know Valentine's Day is coming up. How much do you think they run for a small one, okay, a big let me one? Ask. Bella? I mean, and, and and if she doesn't want to answer that, if she says, "Well, you yeah. need to come in and talk to me personally," I would understand. No, she's not shy. Believe you me, okay. not shy. Uh, Bella, how much do your paintings go for? 
Well, that my mom knows. Okay, we're going to ask mom. So, uh, mom, <laughs> Good answer. can you tell us? Now, the big ones here, these beautiful big ones, can you tell us how much those go for versus the smaller ones? The small ones that you see, which are the you know, primarily what we promote during Valentine's are $125. Oh, so they're pretty reasonable. reasonable. Sock it to me very for the big reasonable. one. And the big ones are $7,500. Seven. Wow. Mark, can I borrow seventy-five hundred dollars? That's how much. These <laughs> I'm going to start ones with are. something small, but I, I am very interested. So she doesn't do yeah, money, yeah, seventy-five hundred for the big ones, but the smaller ones are very reasonable. You said one hundred, yeah, one hundred and twenty-five, mm -hmm. and you got to keep in mind it's personal. It's from this beautiful six-year-old, yeah. and the money is going to go to a wonderful cause. I just, I, you cannot beat that, and she is adorable and very talented. So, we're, thanks for that. Exactly. And so are you, by the way. <laughs> so we'll see you in a little oh. while. <laughs> you make a great team.